Ugh, that's so much cooler. So the gang at Bass Buzz has been obsessed with these Drumeo challenge videos lately. Check them out if you haven't, they're super awesome. So they challenged me to come up with a bass line to Funny Thing by Thundercat, which I amazingly have never heard before. I'm still stuck in 2013 listening to his Apocalypse album. So here's the deal, I've never heard this before. I'm gonna listen to the song with the original bass line removed, and I only have three takes to come up with my own original bass line that I just really hope doesn't suck. Then I'm gonna listen to the song with the original bass line and see just how much better than me Thundercat is. <sighs> Honestly, I'm really intimidated, kind of nervous. My palms are slightly sweaty. Thundercat is just like ridiculously awesome and I've never composed a bass line in front of you before. So uh, I hope this works. If not, you're about to watch 10 minutes of a man crying. Hopefully instead you're about to see some cool bass playing. Let's find out. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's so crunchy. All right. So I'm mostly just gonna listen this first time around, but I wanna try to get the chord changes at least. Okay, so G to C. Same chords. Ah, oh. that synth sound. <laughs> That's so cheesy good. So I imagine he's doing like a really cool bass thing to fill in that space. I have to figure out what to do. I gotta admit I'm a little bit relieved uh, because some Thundercat songs have like mega weird chords like the uh, the Tron song. Uh, Don't you know you rock? Like he gets really weird. So the fact that this is just G, like a G major seven thing to a C major seven thing the whole time means I don't have to worry too hard about digging into the harmony, I can just try to come up with something that sounds pretty cool. So I promise Scout's Honor, I really have not heard this before, but a friend did mention to me at some point in the past that he had like a classic Thundercat Ottawa sound on this track. So I came prepared and set up some pedals. I think I'm gonna go with this sound. I'm gonna run a, I'll show you some B-roll of this. I'm gonna run a Boss OC2 into some drive, into an envelope filter. That might be a little too, a little too much grit for this track. Maybe I'll mellow out the drive. I'll have to check that out on the second one. But that'll that'll automatically make the track feel a little fuller than just clean electric bass. And it's such a synthy sounding thing. I think that's gonna work. Something like that is gonna work well. I could do more sustainy stuff. And then maybe I'll pick it up for the chorus. Okay, that actually wasn't too depressing. I was expecting worse. So I think I'm happy with this idea of doing more kind of uh, rhythmic, shorter notes in the verses. And then I'm just doing a bunch of major pentatonic crap. If you're not familiar with the major pentatonic scale, it's the My Girl scale. Uh, so I'm doing a bunch of My Girl. Um, and then on the choruses, I'm doing more sustainy. Yeah, God, I love that sound. And the trick is finding the sweet spot between uh, playing simple supportive bass that doesn't get in the way of the vocals and also playing some dope sh because I know this is a Thundercat song and it probably has really dope bass sh on it. I think the hardest part might be hitting the first note right on time because I don't have any count in or anything on the track. So wish me luck with that.
Okay, let me know how I did in the comments. I hope it was okay. I'm not 100% happy with how I'm interacting with the vocals, but now I'm gonna listen to the song with the original bass line with you and see how much better Thundercat's line is than mine. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's doing the low C. Okay, I got the major pentatonic thing. Yeah, he found a longer rhythmic phrase too. Uh, that's so much cooler. Okay, and he didn't really change it for the chorus. I was kind of trying to differentiate, but it just kind of rolls through. Which works because it's cooler than what I was playing. Ah, uh, uh, he played that lick. Actually playing closer to the mic or old guitar part than I was even. So the main thing I think he did a lot better than me is establishing a consistent rhythmic phrase. So it's that and then some different noodles, but that he's hitting that basically every time, and I think. The, the reason I felt like I was clashing with the vocals is that I was doing less consistent rhythm, which I probably would have dialed in if I got to play this more times, but I didn't because it's a challenge. So yeah, that's what I'm digging. But actually we were playing a lot of the same notes. Or like boom. Even whipped out a boom. So I think I was in the right ballpark, but obviously Thundercat came up with a better bass line for a Thundercat song than Josh or Cat did. I'm not, that's not my name. <laughs> so my big takeaway for my playing on this is to think about establishing longer rhythmic phrases. So rather than just thinking doom, 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 boom, 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 and then repeating that on the next chord, doom, doom, doom. His pattern ran through the whole progression. And it just, it makes it feel cooler because the, the chunk is bigger, so it doesn't repeat as many times. So again, please let me know how I did in the comments. Be as brutal as you like. Uh, I've already admitted that I think Thundercat's bass line is better, but I'm curious to hear what you think. I really enjoyed doing this for you. It felt really scary at the beginning. I had all kinds of self-doubt about whether this would even turn into a real video or not, but I like it. I think this will be a video. If you're hearing me say this, it's a video. And let me know if you wanna see more Thundercat videos, because I'd love to talk about them more with you. And if I do, I will put a link here that you can click on. In the meantime, this will just be a different video, which you can also click on. I'll see you next time.